watch closely. Wait for it. And... Now! Double lift. Not yet. Another flourish. Another? It's about misdirection. A sprinkle of magic dust. No, you get the audience to will it for you. How come they have magic powers? Steve, -er, do you know that everybody has a little magic inside them? <laughs> yes, you, Stephen. And you. All of you. And if carefully focused, a group of seemingly ordinary people can achieve the extraordinary. Now, everyone, watch this path. I don't buy it, David. We all had to face that bitter disappointment when the letter from Hogwarts didn't come. But the audience can get the idea that I, the magician, am the exception that I did study alongside Miss Granger. What if it's a ghost? Stop it. I don't think we should open the door. It's probably just Roy. It's Halloween, remember? How could I forget? Sorry, Chad. Um, hey, Penny. We, we thought you guys were ghosts. <laughs> Are you guys coming to the party? They must be coming. They're already changed. Excuse me. This isn't fancy dress. It's our uniform. Wow. Mm, um, are you learning a new trick, dear, then? Penny. Well, that would be telling. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you at the party. <laughs> Hope your costumes are suitably terrifying. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. You should have asked her out. She's still going out with Roy. Yeah, but we both know that's not going great. It doesn't really make a difference, though, does it? She's still going out with Roy. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Michelle? My mistress of the night. <laughs> You've hired a prostitute? No. She's my companion for the evening. So you have hired a prostitute? No, she... She's my date. <laughs> You've got a date. Phone. Hello? Hi. Are you well? Good, good. Indeed, yeah. Yeah. Shall we meet at Stephen's room? What? Stephen? Oh, he's my assistant. Yeah, you're all right. All right, it's room 357. Yeah, looking out onto the quad. All right, wonderful. All right, okay. Okay. All right. All right. I'll see you in a bit. Ta-ra. Ta-ra. <laughs> yeah. Assistant. Yeah, she's coming in a minute. And then you guys are off to the party. And you're coming too, right? Can't we just go trick-or-treating instead? <laughs> Come on, Stephen. It'll be fun. Laura might be there. I, I don't want to see Laura. She might want to see you. She doesn't. But what college is she at? Michelle. Um, Reynolds, I think. Ah, a Reynolds girl. Sorry. <laughs> you know what she's like just because she's of the female gender and goes to Reynolds College? I know she said yes to you. <laughs> so she has great taste. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah. What's this? Oh, um, I wrote that last night. Really? What's it about? It's a ghost story. Mm -hmm. Go on then. It's, it's the background to a university haunting. An aristocratic woman is seen floating around room 421, where no student dares to stay. Now the college dorms are in what used to be a grand manor. In 1841, a beautiful Indian lady named Amrita married an old English count against the wishes of her family who disowned her. On their honeymoon, the count fell ill and they returned home early. Within days, he had died. 
Amrita was left to wandering the grounds and sitting alone in her boudoir. Her family wouldn't take her back. Now, Maid used to look after her, and one night she came to serve Amrita's evening meal. When she found Amrita, she saw that she was sitting on the bed with her back to her. Now, as the maid approached, she asked Amrita why she was wearing her gown and shawl at that hour. Was she going out? Amrita rose and turned to look at the maid, except the Countess was no longer there. The clothes retained their shape, but there was no body inside of them, no head inside the shawl. The door flung itself open and the clothes glided out of the room and into the night. Legend has it that every Halloween, Amrita's ghost returns to haunt the dorms of the university, searching for her count. Nice. I like it, yeah. It isn't gruesome, but it is evocative. Yeah, yeah, but thanks. I, um, I got the inspiration from our own room, 41, of course. Yeah, of course, yeah, the abandoned dorm. Yeah. Yeah. Must be haunted. <laughs> yeah. Shall I get the wand? Oh, wait, um... What? What? It's my dorm. She's my date. Is she fit? <laughs> She's a Reynolds girl. <laughs> Hey. Are you Stephen? I am. I like your costume. I like yours. It's not a costume! <laughs> we are practising magicians in uniform. <laughs> well, I'm honoured. Will you do a trick for me? Stephen? Thought I was just your assistant. He's a bit sensitive. He's a writer. Oh, cool. What sort of writing? Um, short stories. What about? Stuff. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Impressive. Stephen, are you coming? Yeah, maybe. But what's it to you, I think, is the implication. Come on, Stephen, be a gentleman. <laughs> a thousand apologies, my lady. Wow. <laughs> Thanks. How do you do that? That would be telling. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> Who's that? That'll be the ghost. <laughs> We, uh, we really shouldn't let him out alone on, on Halloween. Mm. Yeah. Never know what could be stalking the hallways tonight. That, that, that's actually what my last story was about. A uh, countess who, who haunts the dorms on Halloween. It's, it's the dead of night. 
The, uh, the, the silence is it's deafening. And then you hear a, a drip, drop. Or a door suddenly slamming. And then you feel a breath on the back of your neck. <laughs> I'm a writer too. I used to write short stories, but um, I've just started a novel. Cool. Um, what about? Magicians. Really? Yeah. <laughs> this this must be must be great character research for you then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How did you meet David? Um, oh, he just came up to me outside the psychology library. He made those roses appear. <laughs> so, so you got a bit of a wizard fetish then? I thought it was sweet and a good trick. Inconvenient as far as your novel goes. Look. It was a factor. He's good looking as well. Well. And he goes to Buxton, which means the best Halloween parties in all Beck. <laughs> Where the hell did David go anyway? I think he saw someone outside. Why would he lie to us? He was under a spell. Glamoured. Exactly. I'm not sure we want to get involved in this. Look, we can hide in this room all night, or we can face our fears. You don't know what we're getting into. Are you scared of the dark? Do you sleep with the lights on? We haven't even got any weapons. When did that ever stop us? OK, um, <laughs> so, 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 so we've got history doing this then? Yeah, that's right. Um, two seasons, to be precise. OK, and, and have we ever... No, we haven't. You're desperately in love with me, but I'm cold. Totally focused on the job. I think that's just a front. You have commitment issues. So beautiful tonight. Keep it in your pants. Come on. Oh. <laughs> He's been bitten. How long have we got? At that stage, 15 seconds till he turns. But the infection must be coming from somewhere. The professor! I'd put money on it. We need to get to the labs. Okay. been bitten? They're developing rudimentary manual skills. Could have been messy. The labs are this way, right? Yeah. 
Stephen? Stephen, what is it? That's our Rita. It's the woman from my story. The one haunting the dorms on Halloween. That, that, that's her. She... Room 421. It, it's the abandoned dorm. She... I thought they were doing zombies. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, sorry. No, no, it's all right. It can be like a general paranormal thing. Like Treehouse of Horror. God, this is... It's probably weird. It, it's exactly like my story. I, I feel like I'm dreaming. Dude, snap out of it. You're awake. Oh. See? Not dreaming. Well, what do we do? Going to 421. Let, let, let's just go to the party. Here goes nothing. David? And Rita? Penny? Michelle? Stephen? How's it going? You said no one uses this room. Yes, I did. Hi, I'm Michelle. David's date. Look, it's just, it's just that Penny only just broke up with her boyfriend and I was just comforting her. She's having a really hard time and, and the party kind of sucked. I was about to call you. And what was I supposed to do? Well, I, I do what, why don't I just, yeah, just, just shut the door. Yeah, sure. I, we'll, we'll see you later, yeah? Yes. Okay, take care. So listen, um, why don't you come to the party with me? Is it a date? It is. We'll see. Kind of disappointed. I'm stuck with a Reynolds girl. No, no, no. Shh. Um, just that it, it wasn't Amrita from my story. Mm, wow, well, that's the problem with real life. Everything magical turns out to be bullshit. True, but, but think of it a different way. If it could be solved, then then of course it wasn't magic. But but what about all the unsolved mysteries? Yeah. Well, any of them left. <laughs> you look cold. Um, borrow my coat? Not like that. <laughs> I haven't actually finished it yet. Mm. I uh, I was thinking, Amrita's ghost. She she might get a bit lonely. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Was there anyone who can keep her company? What? Well, well, there's the count, but but he's dead. So well, maybe he's also a ghost. She'd like that.
my mind Shade the dark and so light Don't you know, don't you know, don't you know, don't you know That I only ever liked you Cause you're another I did for a song You're another I did for a song Don't you know, don't you know, don't you know, don't you know That I never meant to spite you I'm an artist, roaring the illustrations of my heart Despite you, I'm an artist drawing blind. These are the illustrations of my mind.